First real part on the new table, building myself a dust shoe, and you'll see why in a moment. This is a top plate, vacuum port, clearance for the router bit, 10 holes to bolt the layers together, two vertical risers to this lack just like a, a sewing machine shoe, narrow and thin. Took a whole whopping 2 minutes 25 seconds to cut this one. So I figure this time around, let's go ahead and get a video. Watch this thing cut. Plastic's going to go flying everywhere. I'm going to think I'm going to slow the speed down a hair because it runs pretty quick. So let's see how she goes. Here we go. All right, doing the small holes first around the perimeter. Hey, 125 fit, but there are 140 holes, so it's doing a little tiny circle on each one of those. I'm going to slow this thing down just a hair. 90% feed rate. And this buildup bugs me. You know, it's not the safest thing to do, but it burned the holes before on the last one. Be a fast move now. Big vertical holes. When the layers are stacked, they'll be threaded. You can see one of my rolls here, right here, threaded at the end. Not sure what that was doing. It should do tabs, but it may pop loose. Well, should be doing three passes. Third pass will do the tab. And that's it. Yeah. Two minutes, 26 seconds, slowed down. Wasn't as complicated as the last one. First piece had a hole here, but it also had a square hole for the vacuum port. You can see the pattern on my spoil board, including the little tabs. I purposely cut through deep on purpose on those because you notice there's the bottom, there's the top plate, here's two of the centers, but over here there were two more and you don't see them at all. And I left it shy. It actually left the film on the plastic. All right. Anyway, to the shoe. There she is assembled. Still have one more middle layer I could use, but I didn't. Got three centers. The top. You can see the modified melted original hose assembly. Hose comes out the back. Loops up pretty cleanly, straight out the back. Loops up. And yes, I already did a suction test with my first shoe just to see if it would work. I had more than enough suction to just gouging MDF to see what would happen. No dust anywhere. It just got bolted to the side of the upright. So at least I knew the vacuum system worked. So there it is. See the back side? It's clear, that vertical upright comes down any farther, it'll make contact and it's actually going to put an emergency stop switch on it. <coughs> but it's definitely one of the shorter bits. 
that we'll ever use. I can bring the saddle mount down to the end and not have to worry about clearances back there. Mounts on the side, you can see it just simple clamp. Bolt goes all the way through and I drilled it all the way in, tapped it. It's aluminum but it doesn't have to be that snug. It's just enough to snug it. Works fine. I use two roll pins that are loosely fitted. That keeps the toggle vertical. I may go ahead and give them some leeway because I realize now the shoe is light enough weight that it doesn't need to be super rigid. These are just aluminum poles threaded straight into the aluminum or straight right into the plexiglass. Bolts are countersunk at the bottom, flathead so they sit flush on the bottom or actually up into it. And once I put the nuts on, I just ground the ends of the bolts off. A little Loctite, which is in good shape. I will show you, she's just a hair off center. But I realize just by playing with the brackets how loose I leave them. I can sh shuffle it around a little. I can loosen up both sides. And I can, there it is, it's not even tight right now, and yet it still stays right where it needs to be. As far as clearances go, see what we got coming down here. Alright, that's a short bit. She's making contact with the board, and it's just touching in the back. So I'll probably go ahead and move this down to the very bottom doesn't hit my switches. I had to clearance it just a little bit. I had to modify my limit switch a little bit, but she worked out fine. All this is just off the wall at Lowe's. Normal 220 thickness piece of plexi. Managed to get that 2x4. Ended up with six pieces. Used five of them here for the shoe. Anybody using VCarve Pro? Maybe I'll post the files and you can modify them as you want. Mine just happened to work out. It was three and a half inches from the center line here out to the center. So that's where I put these wings. Just good and heavy duty. Here, just snug it down. You can see it wants to straighten up. Maybe I'll put a spacer behind it and tilt it out a little bit or something. But yeah, maybe I have to do a dust test here. Let's just see how it's working. Maybe I'll just router out this pattern again right in my spoil board. I'll do it over here to see how it runs.